Ah. Making Ralphs. So these guys should technically know something about the robot. Hopefully. Shush. Hey, um... If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supplies. Um... Would you happen to know where I could find a sex pot? <laughs> Are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? Actually, the Garrets are looking to satisfy certain customers. <laughs> well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. That place has been overrun by vermin for years. If you want to check the place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Um, is there anything I'll need to get it active? Well, I don't know of any, but if you give me a few days and some caps, I think I could probably make one on my terminal. <laughs> yeah, fine. Here's the caps for it. Alright. Come back in a couple days, and I should have it ready for you. Alright. Thanks for stopping in. Well, let's talk to the other guy. Just let me know if anything catches your eye. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner Ralph. What guns you got? Have a look. 308. I think you got some hunting rifles. Don't want to know why you're holding it for that. A couple of Vault 3 some jumpsuits. Listen, I could do with some ammo, but that's about it. In return... Mm. I've got a death claws egg. Um, I'm not gonna need it. And a hand. Got much charge packs. Flamer fuel. Now hold on to missiles. Oh, and some microfusion and energy cells. I don't use energy weapons, so. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you. Do you have any special items for sale? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? <laughs> no. In that case, yes I do. Follow me. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. Alright, what's different here? C4 explosives, grenade machine guns, and see why you want to keep this place um, hidden away. Thanks, Mick. I'm probably going to be back looking at that place. Oh, out of interest, some of my guns Welcome could back. use a patch up. Could you? Uh, Possibly do that? Sure. Let's see what you've got. Uh, you can patch up my armor, it would be nice. My repeater. And maybe even my hunting rifle? Thanks. Come back.
It's a matter of spending money to oh, make money as far as I see it, Veronica. So, while we wait for Ralph to come up with the goods for the robot... Um, let's have a look around. Who's this guy? How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. Hmm. You know, James Garrett up at the um, Atomic Wrangler is looking for a particularly suave escort. You interested in some work? I am honored they would consider me. I'll start immediately. Alright. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Hmm. You waving at me? What's up? Hey. Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. Friend of yours? Nah, just some idiot that wandered down the wrong alley. Sound familiar? Yeah. Uh-oh. Eddie, re uh, Eddie, Veronica, there's reinforcements behind us. I'll handle this idiot. That was too easy. Oh, still alive? My mistake. I'll make sure not to leave you that way next time. Okay. What about the followers of the apocalypse? They've probably got some work. And there's the Crimson Caravan near here as well. See if the followers have any jobs for us. Work out where to find a ghoul cowboy. Hey there. Hello. Howdy. So, who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments. There isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docks are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. So what are you doing here? I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. I want to talk about something else. What do you have in mind? I got a couple of questions. And I may have answers. Mm. But you've seen a lot through the years, huh? I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Sounds like you're a bit of a dom, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? Hmm. Interested in working for the Garrets up at the Atomic Wrangler? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? This would be as an um, 
Escort. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. Alright, fine. Let me put it this another way. I was trying to be gentle. When I say escort, I mean prostitute. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Turns out there are customers looking for someone exactly like you. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. You'd be an independent. With a deep discount on the booze, maybe? Mm. They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the Garretts I'll stop by to work out terms. Alright. Bye. See the followers, how many work for us. Uh, a lot of guards. Uh, just a dock. 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 Who runs this place? Hello. Not you. Hello there. What exactly are you two doing? Stop it. It's weird. Wayne, Farris, Roy, no. Looking for a woman called Farkas. Guard, gambler, gambler. Just a couple of Vegas peeps. Hello. Dead end. Never mind. What about this side? Ah. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. You need medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. What do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Seems like you need a more steady supply, not just whatever I can grab. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Any other any idea which merchants might be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garretts, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. 
Alright, I'll talk to the Crimson Caravan then. You got yourself a deal. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. Alright. What do you See you later. Got a better Can't help but be impressed with what they're doing here. Exactly. Hopefully we can get the Crimson Caravan to help out. Members of the Kings. Didn't expect to find you guys. Crimson Caravan. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. So who's in charge here, Ringo? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. All right. And uh, what's next for you? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way, so it'll be up to me to get things started. All right. See you for now, Ingo. Good luck around. with that. Main office, huh? This building looks pretty um, empty, Ingo. True police stories. Be more in the toilets. That's pretty rare. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Um. Well, first of all, I'd like to know some more about the Crimson Caravan Company. Certainly. What would you like to know? Well. How long have you been in business? The Crimson Caravan Company has been in business for over 130 years. We're partially responsible for the progress in the NCR. You have any uh, major competition? Well, the gunrunners continue to dominate the weapons market. And the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. You look kind of uh, well-dressed for this place. Normally, I oversee company operations at the hub in California. However, the New Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. I'll change all that soon enough. Okay. Look, I want to talk about work. All right. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. What do I need to do? Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. It's been a pleasure. Alright. I'll see what I can do. Hey, buddy. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. Can you answer some questions for me? Maybe. What do you want to know? Where does the Crimson Caravan Company get its merch? Trade routes, my friend. Trade routes. Just about every major town in the wasteland has a Crimson Caravan branch in it. 
Caravans ever get trouble from bandits? Out here, we usually split our caravans into smaller bands. That way, we don't lose everything if they get hit. It's not very efficient, though. But hopefully, we'll be able to start running larger caravans once things get civilized. Where are you from? A little place in the NCR called Oak Creek. Used to be a farming town until it got taken over by ranchers. I didn't want to herd Brahmin for a living, so I signed on with the Crimson Caravan and headed east. Not much to tell, really. All right, cool. Need anything else? Um, no, I'm good. Thanks. See ya. Am I the only one that noticed they didn't want to talk about... <sighs> the Mormon fort at all? No mention of the followers of the apocalypse. Still, Camp McCarran's not too far. And the NCR are bound to have some work. So deal with this. Oh, the gun runners. Hello, potential customer. Hi there. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Yeah. Show me what you have for sale. I am ready to process our transaction. Good. Yes, please. Ah, here's the problem with the gun runners. They have the stuff I want, but they do not have. I, well, I'm more. I do not have the money to buy it from. Got my 44 Magnum, so I don't really need the 357. Uh. I don't need this machete. Or any of the dynamite, to be honest. Um, anti venom's useful. Uh, jet. Medics. Mentats. Psycho. I really don't want to be carrying any drugs with me if I don't need to. That'll do for now. Don't need 12 gauges, I haven't got anything that can fire them. Or 5 mils. All of these. You know what? I don't have a missile launcher. Um, I, can, I want the grenades. You can have those. Is that enough? Can you give me my shotgun now? Oh, it fires 12. No, that's just sort of. Leave action. Oh, I still don't quite have enough. Um, it's got to be something. I don't have anything that fires 5.56s. I'd like a lever action shotgun, please. In exchange, you can have a caravan shotgun. Thanks. All right. See ya. Come back and see us again soon. Uh, 
Now this is my kind of weapon. Very simple design, sleek, but it's got a bit more ammo than my last shotgun, so. Cut through here. McCarran's just around there. The tower. Anyone kicking around? Hello? Anyone at all on these farms? That's a crimson caravan. And see our guard. Hey there. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Not really though, right? How you doing up there? Hey. I'm not a recruitment officer. You want to join the army? I'm sure someone at McCarran can point you in the right direction. What can you tell me about these fields? Impressive, aren't they? You don't see anything like this outside of NCR territory, that's for sure. We get the water, clean water, pumped in from Lake Mead. If you follow the big pipes, they'll take you all the way to the lake. Why are you guarding the fields? A lot of the crops grown here support the various NCR camps in the region. McCarran, Golf, and Forlorn Hope, to name a few. We can't have wastelanders popping in here for a free meal, so my squad and I are assigned to keep things from going to hell. Alright, fair enough. See you later, Lieutenant. Carry on. They're very empty, aren't they? I think you'd see more people out and about in them, considering... Ah, oh, well. Camp McCarran. So who am I delivering this to? So, Dr. Hildern. Alright. He's got to be inside, right? Scientists. Interesting. There's a lot more troops here than we thought. No wonder we couldn't hold Helios one. Maybe don't say we quite so loudly. You Dr. Hildern? 
A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Uh, actually, I have an invoice for you from Alice McLafferty. From Alice? I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Um... What's going on in Vault 22? Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to begin? Hmm... Well, I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water, and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Um, sounds like it is. A realist. We have that in common. A year ago, I'd have said the same. But what if I was to tell you that the wasteland can yield an endless bounty, and that the secret may lie a mere few miles from where we stand? We need only reach out and take it, and for that I need you. It's never as simple as that. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. All right, I'll take the job. It'll take me a while. 22's on the far side of New Vegas, but I'll take the job. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy. And you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your Pip-Boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. No, okay. Goodbye. Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. I'm not sure whether to be insulted by that. Oh. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? Yeah. He asked me to get some data from Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the Vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Maybe I should have another talk with Hildern. No, wait. I don't mean to see any harm come to Dr. Hildern. Unless by talk, you just mean talk. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. Isn't right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. All right. I'll keep an eye out. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Goodbye. Right. Good luck. Even the Elder. NCR is investing in new research. Yes? Something else you needed? 
I'm not the first person you sent out there, am I? I never said you were. You've been speaking to Williams, haven't you? You're not the one that's going to be asking the questions here, Dr. Hilden. Fair enough. Begging your pardon, but this is beginning to feel like an interrogation. No, you aren't the first person I've sent to the vault. I'm sorry that I neglected to tell you, but I don't see how it makes any difference. How many others have you sent? I'd have to consult my records. Eight? Ten? Your point is what? Doesn't trouble you at all? That you sent eight or ten people to their deaths? I have no evidence that they're dead. A thousand things could have happened between here and the vault. They could have changed their minds and walked away. I wouldn't be much of a scientist if I leapt to conclusions without proof. You're sending me somewhere where eight or ten people have gone missing. I want double the caps. All right. I'll admit that it's been difficult to find anyone willing to enter the vault. And I'd rather get the data sooner than later. You have a deal. I'll double your reward if you bring me the data. But this is as high as my budget will allow. Now, I know your time is valuable, so I won't waste any more of it. Feel free to show yourself out. I'm going to. You got a second? What is it, Veronica? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always... But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong, or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. I'll take you back there. First chance we get. Great! Thanks! Thank you! I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. Seriously. If you show me the way... to the... Brotherhood of Steel's bunker. We can head there. I'm just a gun for hire now. I just want to ask Benny why, what his whole deal is, what the platinum chip is, the whole thing. And then maybe shoot him in the head as well, just so he know how it knows how it feels. But that's something for the future. We should circle back around. Let's avoid the farms. See if there's anything further along. What's the deal with this? Another little walled community. Something I can help you with, stranger. What exactly is this place? This here's where folks go when their luck runs out. 
Drifters up from the Republic, locals that can't turn a dime, drunken reprobates from all around. And if you don't have the caps to get onto the strip, odds are you'll end up here. Sounds like it could be a bit uh, chaotic. Is there any way I could help? Well, I am a little short staffed. Maybe you could give me a hand. Some people have gone missing from the camp lately. I haven't seen any signs of violence or heard about any feuds. They just up and vanished. And I've also got Keith and his gambling to deal with. I know that skunk's cheating folk out of their savings. I just can't prove it. What can you tell me about the missing people? They never seem to have much in common. That's why I didn't notice it sooner. Young folks, old folks, men, women, all disappearing. I remember a family with a little blonde girl. She never talked much, but she always carried this little stuffed teddy bear. Remember anything else? Seem to recall a lot of them did business with those scavengers over on the west side, Dermot and St. James. Okay. I'll have a look into that. What about this Keith guy? Keith's a two-bit hustler. He runs a gambling operation out of his shack. Ask me, he wins way too often to be playing fair. I suspect he's running drugs, too. I just can't prove it. Maybe you can find something. Talk to him, poke around his shack, something. All right. I'll have a look into that. See ya. No. Which one's Keith's? Sweet 200? Maybe. Ugh. Radio. No. Um... I feel like Keith's place would be more obvious. Ah. Well, that's more than a little bit creepy. Morning. Keith. Hey there. Fancy a game of caravan? Who are you? Name's Keith. You feeling lucky? I got games of chance, games of skill, games of you name it. Wanna win a little cash? I think I'll pass for now. Your loss? Yeah, well, from what I hear, your players are pretty, uh, unlucky. What's your secret? I guess Lady Luck just smiles on me, that's all. Nothing special about it. All right. See ya. Come on back if you want a game. That one's annoyingly smart. Hey. Hello. I have to get the jet. Hello. I'll look around, see if you can find anything. Captain thinks he could have had something in his shack. Morning. Morning. Jet. Jet, jet, jet. More jet. That's no good. I feel like a missing people problem hey is more pressing than Keith's problem.
The fiends are using the sewers, weren't they? Trouble. Alright, we got ghouls, rats. Stand the water, you suck up rats. Yeah, this new shotgun's pretty good. Thanks, gun runners. Let's go see McLaffrey. So kind of to the north. I like this. Turn at the north. Oh god, get out of the war. Don't think I'll make it topside anytime soon. Watch out where you exit. Sewers can lead you to fiend territory. Right. Noted. If we're here, though, that means this area is kind of safe, right? This place is a labyrinth. No wonder people go down here and just disappear. Alright, Veronica. We've been down here long enough. Look for a ladder out. Hey there. Alright, caved in. No good. Spotlights on you. What's your deal? I'd remember if I had seen you here before. I'm sure of it. What do you want? What is this place? The clamor of our bloodthirsty crowds reaches every corner of the wasteland. But I'll pretend that your ignorance doesn't offend me, stranger. This is the thorn. Here's where the strong make a name for themselves, and the weak are fed to the jaws of hell. You can bet on the contenders. Or, if you have what it takes, be one of the contenders. Be warned. The Thorn demands respect. Break the rules, or offend me in any way, and I'll gut you open for all to see. Okay. Tell me about the Thorn. What do you want to know? What do 
the rules? The rules are simple. My creatures fight for our pleasure. You can bet on a contender and earn double if you choose the victor. But you can get a bigger share if you risk your skin in the thorn. Win a fight and I'll give you a meaty cut of the earnings. I won't tolerate anyone that interferes with the fights. Offend me and your blood will be the next to spill. Other than that, anything goes. How do you train the creatures? Even if I trusted you, I'd not share my secrets just for your pretty face, stranger. The Thorn's a sacred ground, a source of awe. Here we truly rule over the forces of nature, for once. These beasts are slaves to their instincts and hunger for blood. That's a good enough answer for everyone, and it'll do for you, too. At least tell me how you find them. Our creatures come from the farthest reaches of the wasteland. The Thorn takes care of them, until the time to spill their blood comes. We constantly replenish our stock, to keep this holy ground soaked red. Only a few brave ones ever earn the honor of serving the Thorn. Could I help? Think you have what it takes? Hmm. Alright. Prove your worth, and I'll reward your service. The Thorn needs newborn specimens that will one day grow to honor us with their blood. Bring me a dozen giant mantises' eggs. If you accomplish this, I might gift you with greater tasks in the future. Any idea where I could find them? You'll find egg-carrying mantises in the wasteland. But a wise hunter would search at a mantis's breeding ground, like the nearby ruins of Vault 22. I'll find them for you. You've got yourself a deal. So long, stranger. We're heading to 22 anyway. Hmm. How do I get out? Okay. Pretty well signposted. So this is West Side. Opposite side of New Vegas and slightly less legal. Still. Didn't they mention that the scavengers the people have been talking to were near here? Maybe they'll know something about the people who went missing. Anything new happening? I got nothing you need. If it's ass you're looking for, talk to pretty Sarah. What do you do around here? Me and my partner St. James work salvage around West Side. That's all. Why is he called St. James? Because it's his name. He may be high strung, but he's all right. Hauls his half a scrap, which is all I need. All right. Yeah, beat it. What about St. James? Why are you talking to me, man? I'm trying to relax here. Got it? Uh... Some people went missing from the old Air Attack office park and they were last seen dealing with you. 
I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that Aerotech camp. Go cry to somebody else. And yet you know the missing people are refugees. Yeah, well, I must have heard rumors. And, uh... Fuck you! You got nothing on me and Dermot! Super mutant. Uh, hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Hey there. Welcome to Casa Madrid. Cheapest, cleanest whores in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for Poon, talk to the whores. Got some questions about your tenants. Like who? Know anything about St. James? Guy's unstable, but he pays his rent and Sweetie seems to like him all right. Uh, what about Dermot? Like who? Roughneck prospector is all I hear. Good at what he does. Been renting a room here for a year or so. Nothing special. All right. See ya. Catch you later then. It's, uh... Pretty Welcome Sarah. Welcome to Hi, Casa Madrid. If you got an itch need scratching, you came to the right place. Just watch how you treat the merchandise. What do you do around here? I look after the only reasons anyone would want to spend any time here. I'm a pimp. All Marco does is collect rent and take a small cut of my action. He sure as hell doesn't clean the rooms. You're not one of the merchandise? Most of my body is scarred all over, like a ghoul. Nobody around who'd want to screw that. No, I just run things. How'd you get burnt so badly? We don't talk about that. Next topic. Okay. Who's the merchandise? Three flavors to choose from. Sweetie, Maud, and Jimmy. Sweetie's the house favorite, for reasons that should be obvious. Maud is what you might call the discount rack. She's what a customer wears if he doesn't have the caps to afford Sweetie. Or just likes them old. Jimmy's more of a specialist. I only hear good things. All right, fine. You know where to find me. You said Sweetie was sweet on uh, St. James, right? Grim huh? wimped out and accepted NCR rule. Some people will do anything to feel safe. It's Jimmy. Which means you must be sweet. Hey, baby, what say you and me get acquainted? Um. Does. Do you know St. James? Sure do. St. James is my number one customer. He's a prospect who pays Marco to stay here at the Casa week to week. I don't know why his friend Dermot chose to stay here. He's never been with me or nobody else. But St. James likes having me close at hand. Does he pay for anything uh, unusual? A client's got a right to privacy, so it'll cost 200 caps for me to tell you all about it. Let's say 100 caps. Funny how I make caps every time I open my mouth. St. James's problems, that's for sure. Never wants me to say a thing or for me to move around either. Lately, he brings a teddy bear with him and props it on the bed like it's watching us. Ugh, it's creepy as hell. Not the worst I ever been with, but more a pervert than most. Hmm. Any chance you could help me get in his room? I do have his spare key, but I'm not sure if he'd like it if I let you in there. St. James can be a little crazy sometimes. You'd say no to a guy like me, and here they said you were special. Oh, don't you dare play that game with me. <laughs> Fine. Here's the key, since it's so important to you. Thanks. You know you'll be back. Uh, if Watch I have any more questions, things. sure. Hmm. 
There's not much here, but teddy bear. Can the missing little girl have a teddy bear? What Dermot's room? Ledger. Let's have a read of this. Dermot's ledger. Going to be a little different than the one I kept for holding scrap. But I've always been a strong believer in keeping straight books. To motor runner, teen girl, 500 caps. Adult man, 38, zero caps. True to his word, paid top money for the girl, plus bonus for first delivery, but paid nothing for the girl's father, who took a swing at him when untied. Gotta keep him more secured. Also gotta keep St. James off the girls, as even fiends don't want used goods. To motor runner again, adult woman, 250, an old woman, 25, old man, 25, and a baby. Nothing. Gotta be more careful selecting what we deliver. Run like the woman, of course, but the baby's worthless except to make sure the woman does as she's told. Her parents next to worthless, should have killed and left them. On the bright side, Runner says we can start dealing with fiends closer. So no more dragging folks all the way to Vault 3. To Nef Nephi. Teen girl, 400 caps. Teen boy, 150 caps. Child girl, 7 maybe? 50 caps. More like it. Learned from the past and got rid of mum and dad along the way. Tried to get more money for the young one. I said, hey, give her time to sprout, but Nephi wouldn't have it. Kept St. James off the girl so long he got his damn Ted. As he got his damn Teddy. He's a sick one, but I guess the work calls for it. To cook, cook. Adult woman, teen girl, teen girl, teen boy. Total of 1,100 caps. Did not like dealing with this cook, cook. Didn't know if he'd pay us or burn us. I guess what they do with them once they get them is up to them. It's not my business. But he didn't even wait for us to turn the corner before he was torching the boy and making the women folk watch. Let's hope to deal with Nefi next time. You sick bastards. Right. The fiends. I've got plenty of ammo. 